From the depths of Seoul, South Korea, Fleta has been forged in a war that he fought alone. Crawling over the cold, ashy remains of his teammates, he has proven time and time again that he will not falter. Fleta has spent nearly half a year preparing for his first professional win that was not him fighting for his own career. Now, he operates within a team that can support him more than he could have ever imagined and provide symbiosis. This is the story of the slum dog becoming the millionaire, the perennial coming of age story of an incredible Overwatch talent. This is Fleta. Fleta played for a small South Korean Overwatch team called Flashlights, a team that made their debut in the freshman season of OGN's Overwatch Apex League. However, Fleta would not join the team until Apex Season 2. Crashing in like a gust of fresh air, his entry was dynamic, but the skill and prowess that he possessed would almost be lost in flashlights. Early on in his professional career, Fleta was the definition of a standout player. He was able to maintain almost ludicrous statistics within the three Apex seasons he would perform in before leaving for the Overwatch League as a part of the Seoul Dynasty. Fleta was such an enigma for the simple fact that he never managed to win a single match during his tenure while in OGN's Overwatch Apex League, and yet he still managed to stand out being the only threat on a deflated team. To the degree that he managed to secure half of his team's total kills on two different occasions. In a world where most DPS players floated around 29% to 32% of their team's kills a match, Fleta towered over them with an astounding career high of 54.3% of his team kills, while on a team that quite literally never won. Season after season, it was the same old song and dance. Flash Lux would be put in a group as per usual. No matter the difficulty, they would fail to win a single match. He was stuck. Treading water within Flash Lux as stars like Birdring and Flower passed him by, and yet he remained. The ace of last place. Fleta and Flashlux would maintain their position at the bottom of the leaderboard, acting as gatekeepers to the Overwatch Apex League. But Fleta yearned for glory. It called to him. It enticed him. To his dismay, these were but pipe dreams if he stayed within the confines of Flashlux. These voices spoke in sweet hymns and drove him to his wit's end, and suddenly, everything went quiet. In October of 2017, Fleta made a change that would alter his fate for good. He would walk away from Flashlux and join the two-time Apex champions, Lunatic High as their star DPS player. The Soul Cup Super Match was the first stage he donned the Lunatic High jersey and commanded the eyes of the audience. Much like the saying goes, it is best to let sleeping dogs lie, in fear you might get bit. To Fleta's credit, he had been sleeping for far too long. It was time for him to bite back, to show the Overwatch world that he would not be defined by narratives and titles. He would resist the urge to buckle under the pressure of expectation that came with the name Lunatic High. He would persevere in each match of the Soul Cup, just as he did for those three seasons of Apex. And at the end of the day, Fleta was clad in gold. Lunatic High won, but in nail-biting fashion, but it was a victory nonetheless. Fleta had not only completed his Overwatch quest to achieve a win, but he had merely began to chase success. He is the boy with the cold, almost impassive eyes. His aim reflects his perpetual stoic look, composed, almost robotic in a way. Fleta not only matches each of the world's best DPS players, but he finds a way to supersede the governor of what we thought possible. Swimming through tunnels of reality, quite literally bending them to his will. Matching his versatility with equal parts skill and drive, Fleta is the mainstay enforcer of the Soul Dynasty. The sleeping tyrant has awoken. His eyes are bolted to the steely shimmer of the Overwatch League trophy. The captain of the Red Lantern stands at the last train car no more. He is here to collect his due, much like a ruthless tyrant collects the tithe of his people. The Dalai Lama once ushered the quote, not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. And for nearly half a year, Fleta was the luckiest man in South Korea. In his eyes, the gilded throne at the apex of the proverbial Overwatch Mountain belonged to him as a birthright. After paying his dues in unending determination and sheer willpower, Fleta has found himself at the head of a dynasty, but not just any dynasty, his dynasty.